Hello guys, today I'm going to explain to you how to install Cyanogen Mod 14, the Android Nonad version for the Zenfone 2 series. So first of all, I'll provide you a link to download all the files that you need for this purpose. So the link is in the description. So upon clicking the link, you can see that there are mainly five files that you need to download. All these five files are needed and are very essential. So we'll just start by extracting the ADB setup. So we just extract it. And upon extraction, you'll see that there's one file in it. Uh, we are going to run the file. So a blue window comes up and just Keep on pressing Y for all the permissions that you need to give it. So after giving all the permission, you will pop up a dialog box and you just click next, next and it's done. So after doing this, you need to take your mobile phone and then you just need to power it off by pressing the power key. You can just power it off and when it gets switched off, what we're going to do is very simple. We are going to put into the recovery mode. To put in the recovery mode, you need to follow the following steps. Press the power key and the volume up key together until the phone vibrates. As soon as you feel the vibration and the boot logo comes up, you're going to leave the both the keys at the same time. It will take you to the recovery mode. As you can see, a normal boot error comes up. The next thing that you need to do is connect your phone to your PC using some data cables. And after that is done, next you need to follow the following steps. So there are two files. One is for the Cyanogen 14 ROM. The other is the Google Apps. You just need to copy all of this and save it in your micro SD card. So once that is done, you're ready for the next step. You're just going to extract the TRW recovery or for the marshmallow. So you're just going to extract it and then open it. Just click on upgrade. So black window will come at this stage you might face a few problems such as your device is not getting recognized or something like that for that you need to do a very simple task that you need to install the drivers that are also provided in the files that you downloaded just right now once the files are flashed properly the next thing you need to do is press the volume down key and select the recovery mode and select it by using the power button and once you have clicked the power button, take a while and then you don't worry about this warning message. It has nothing to got to do with the performance of your phone. It will not hamper it at all. So just wait and it will show you the recovery mode. So here it comes the TRW recovery and you can see it's for the Android Marshmallow version. So now the next thing you need to do is click on wipe. Make sure that you have all backed up all your data. So now, next, you need to select each and everything except your micro SD card. Because the micro SD card contains all your ROM files, you do not need to wipe that one. Once it is done, go back. And now you need to install. Firstly, you need to select the storage from where you want to install. And then, firstly, install the Cyanogen Mod 14 ROM that you have already downloaded. So it will take a few minutes maybe to install the ROM and once it is done you're going to see that there are two errors but it did need not worry about those because they are they also don't have anything to do with the performance of your phone so you need not worry. And once it is done, next you are going to install 
the G apps in a similar fashion. So it will also take maybe one or two minutes to get installed. Once it is done, you are going to click on the reboot button. So again, you're going to see the warning message and you need not worry about that. Your system will root up as usual. So here comes the logo for the tribute shed. It will take a few minutes of time for the first time boot. So have patience. And And once it is done, you are taken to a page where you are asked to select your language. So select your language. So after selecting the language, you are asked to select a Wi-Fi signal. And we just, I just keep it for this time being. And once it is done, you are taken to the home page. So here we have installed the... Uh, Cyanogen Mod 14, the Android Nonad version for Zenfone 2. So there has been a small change in the drawers from the Marshmallow. So here you can see that there is a new suggestions tab here for the settings. And the settings there also comes up in a different manner. Phone. So here it shows that it's the Android N version. On clicking the Android version, it shows N, but there is a drawback of this N that it does not come with any custom games like the Android Lollipop and the Marshmallow version used to. <laughs> the camera works fine with no issues all together so that's all if you think that this video helped you please do like and subscribe thank you